Welcome, this video is about my top 5 Nintendo Switch games. Coming in at number 5, we have Assassin's Creed 3. It was originally released in 2012 on a PS3, Xbox 360, and Wii U. Then it was remastered for the PS4 and Xbox One, and that was released in March of 2019. And in May of 2019, then Nintendo Switch has gotten it. The Switch's version isn't as highly digitally remastered as the PS4 Xbox One, and it does suffer from frame rates being dropped. This is only noticeable during the action sequences, and not all the time, it's just a few out of them. Still a decent game on the Switch. However, this is the first Assassin's Creed I truly got into, even though it's not as action paced as at the beginning, and however, that soon changed. And it does become an action pack. You start playing as Hatham. Kenway and your first mission is to assassinate someone in a theater and soon become involved in a plan that leads you to the soon to be America. After months of being in the New World doing various killings missions, you end up playing as Hatham's son Connor, who defends his honor and learns to be an assassin from someone other than his father. As for the controls, they're typical of any Assassin's Creed game before it. It could be some how be unresponsive at times however this may be a joy con issue who knows i don't know but with that all still being said it's a still must have on a switch if you haven't played it anywhere else the other great thing is you learn about the american revolution loosely and you meet the people who have who were part of the american revolution which i thought was pretty cool for a game coming in at number four mario kart 8 deluxe Released April 20th, 2017. It is the extension of the Wii U version of Mario Kart 8. Uh, it includes downloadable tracks from the Wii U, so you don't even have to download tracks, which is cool. Nothing has changed gameplay-wise. You still attack your components with cool little shells and things and whatnot, fireballs. The graphics are beautiful. I think Nintendo did a great port. They made it look really good. The colors are vibrant and and it's just, you know, the controls are very responsive. Um, why I love Mario Kart and why it's only on 4 is when it's just a Wii U port, you know, it's nothing real spectacular. But I love the Mario Kart series. I have loved it from the Super Mario Kart from the Super Nintendo. And this is not my favorite favorite. Mine is Double Dash on GameCube. But this is getting pretty close because I like it. I like how you got hovering. I love how the graphics look. And like I said, the, the controls are just really responsive. And it's just a great game. If you don't have this game yet, what is wrong with you? Seriously, go out and buy it and have some fun playing Mario Kart. It's just great. I'll race you there to get a new one. Coming in at number three, The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Legend of Zelda is a long-lasting story that started back in 1980s with the original Nintendo Entertainment Center. It lasted through all their consoles and all their handhelds. You saw a game for each one of them, or maybe two or three. Released as a launch title for the Switch back in March 3rd, 2017, but it was not exclusive to the Switch. It was also released on a Wii U. It had better frame rate on a Wii U, and they say the graphics are a little bit better. I don't agree on that. I have it on a Wii U also. Um, I will say, though, in handheld, it looks a little bad, but I think that's just, you know, that's just my opinion, though. But in dock mode, it is beautiful. You will get lost in the scenery. You won't regret buying this game. Uh, let's get back to the game. I love that you have to travel to many different places to earn, of course, experience, but I love that they also included shrines that you have to go into to learn new abilities to help you along your journey. You don't get the abilities right away. You have to learn them, and I think that is great that they did that. Once you learn the controller and all the buttons, changing outfits, weapons, and shields, and your abilities, 
becomes second nature. It really does. It is so easy to do. Uh, the game does start off a little slow, but like I said, you re you're you relearning what Link knew back in the past. You run into an old guy right away. He seems very jolly and happy, and he helps you kind of, but also not. But you learn out. You learn how he, he is supposed to help you, and it's pretty quick after after you start doing going to shrines and stuff. Um, like I said, graphically, the dock in the dock, it's beautiful, and you can really get lost in scenery. I told you guys that. It's really a great game. This is going to become a true classic Legend of Zelda game. We are waiting to hear more on Breath of the Wild 2, which would be awesome, but... That is up to Nintendo. And until then, play Breath of the Wild. Enjoy it. Have fun. Play through it a couple times if you have already. But if you haven't, pick it up because it is a great game. I enjoyed it. And it was just so much fun. Coming in at number 2, Super Mario Odyssey. Released October 27th, 2017. Now, I will admit, I wasn't sure about this game when I first saw it on the Nintendo Direct where they announced the Switch and its games. I'm an old school NES Super Nintendo gamer. It recently got in Mario series like Galaxy, Galaxy 2, Mario 3D World, and so on. So this was still a new form of 3D Mario for me. And the premise is was familiar with Bowser kidnapping Peach and Mario needing to save her. I wasn't too sure how the use, using a hat to become certain things would work out. However, after a couple of minutes of playing and learning the controls, it became so much fun. I mean, he could become a T-Rex. How cool is that? And needing to find moons to power a hat ship is a great idea. This is one of the most polished and fun Mario games in a long time. I love the fact that you gotta power through things. You can turn into 8-bit Mario. You get to take over other creatures and use them as helpful items. You get to take over everything. I mean, check this out. Boom. I took it over. Just by throwing my hat at him. I love Cappy. I love the premise of these games. I love how they, they make everything work so smoothly. And incorporate everything together that they needed to make this game work. It's just so awesome. And it's unbelievable how cool it is. Especially that they put this 8-bit. I know I brought it up, but I love that they brought the 8-bit Mario in. But this has got to be one of the greatest games of all time on the Switch. One of the greatest. There's more. One of the greatest. So if you haven't played Mario Odyssey, have you been not above ground? Have you been stuck under a cap that wasn't cappy? If so, check this game out because you will not. You will not regret buying this game. It is one of the best Mario games ever made. And that's my opinion. I do have an honorable mention, which might surprise some people that know me and follow me on Twitter or watch me on Twitch or even here on YouTube. But my honorable mention is Splatoon 2. It was released July 21st, 2017. I never played Splatoon on the Wii U. I honestly felt it was a stupid game and made more for kids. And the whole squad squid thing was stupid to me. However, after purchasing Splatoon 2 and playing hours with people and then getting into the actual story, I changed my mind. It's one of the more fun games on the Nintendo Switch that you can ever play. Running around inking as much as you can to, to victory, using the ink to pop people and, and do missions and on the side. It is just a great game. I love that you can upgrade your weapons, you can change your clothes, you earn clothes, and the controls are so much easy to use, it's unbelievable. Um, the motion control, you can use it or not, it's up to you. You can turn it off or leave it on. And graphically, it's, it's great for the whole family, and it's great fun for the family. I experienced no dropped frames, I experienced no lag in anything. Uh, online play is fun. Um, it's just so much fun. You guys would not believe how much fun Splatoon 2 is if you haven't played a Splatoon game ever. So I suggest you go get a copy of this awesome 
game that's user friendly, family friendly, and and have a ball with your family if you can. You know, just play the game; it's fun, and that's why it's my honorable mention. My all-time favorite Nintendo Switch game, number one, Luigi's Mansion 3. Where do I start with Luigi's Mansion? Well, first it was released October 31st, 2019. Good job, Nintendo, making it a definite Halloween release. As a fan of the original Luigi's Mansion on GameCube and the follow-ups on the 3DS, it was a must-buy, everybody. It was. Starts out with Luigi and crew traveling to a hotel, and of course the crew disappears. And poor, scared Luigi and his falter pup have to look for them and find out how they were trapped and where they were trapped. I'm not going to tell you just in case you haven't played it yet, but it will surprise you. And yet, here's the question. Why haven't you played it yet? It's a really good game. It's been out for a while. You need to go get this game. Anyway, the controls aren't as clunky as the GameCube's Luigi Mansion, and it's still better than the 3DS games. I experienced no frame drops, and the graphics are amazing. The game itself is so much fun to play. I mean, you get to go bust ghosts with Luigi. I mean, come on. Luigi's usually the guy in the back, and this game shows Luigi being scared of Cap, but still doing what he needs to do. And Pulter Pup really helps you out. The gameplay is excellent. The villains are awesome. The ghosts are cool. Everything about this game is just fun. You can say the controls aren't clunky, they're easy to figure out. They do put you through a tutorial at the beginning of the game, or pretty close to the beginning of the game, on how to use the Ghost Bustin' Pack. And it is so much fun. And all the extras that it has, like push, suck in, and basically jet propel, just for a little bit, is cool. And Gooigi is awesome. I don't have him, unfortunately, on the video here, but he has so much fun. Luigi's Mansion 3 is an awesome game. you got to play it. If you haven't yet, do it. It's so much fun, like I said earlier, and you won't regret buying Luigi's Mansion 3. It's my all-time favorite. It's gonna, it's above anything Mario, and they just Nintendo really did a great job on this. So, there you guys go. Get Luigi's Mansion 3. Hey everyone, thank you for subscribing and watching my videos. If you liked it, hit that like button. If you're new and enjoyed what you have seen and want to see more, please subscribe. Remember to hit that notification bell to be the first to know when new videos have been posted. If you have any comments and or suggestions, please leave them below and I will get back to you as soon as possible. You guys have a great day.